So this may be crazy, but I'm going to see if a miracle can happen. So we have our miraculous lady right here. And uh, we have a relic of St. Therese. And uh, right here, this is a second class relic. And it is January. And I went in the yard and I picked dead roses. Dead roses. Um, here they are. You can see them close up. I added a tiny little drop of holy water or, um, yeah, blessed water from the Divine Mercy Church in Massachusetts with regular water. And I placed four little rosebuds that are dead. I don't know if you can see this in this glass of water. And we're going to see if, if actually a miracle can happen. Can these roses actually, with the help of St. Therese, come back and open up and bloom? And uh, we're going to get in there close, and I'm going to show you the condition of these roses. So you can see they are very, very dried up and not doing uh, too well. <laughs> As we can see, we have another one over here. I don't know if you can see this. It is January. I just cut this. Yes, I have my pruning shears right here. And where's the other? Oh, okay. Yeah, that one was not a good contender. Of course, it's missing the rose head. All right, so I just clipped this from the garden. We're going to see what happens. We're going to give it 24 hours. And if these things bloom and blossom, then we know that St. Therese has interceded on our behalf and showed us a miracle. Okay, so now I, miss, I I placed them in a different spot. If they do bloom, you might say, oh, but it's it's not the same roses. So I moved them in this spot. Now I'm not going to move them anymore. I dipped the heads in the holy water, and uh, now they're, they're a little wet. And here, let's get a close-up, and you can see how badly decomposed these are. I don't know if you can see this, but it's very hard to show you. This one has promise, and that one has sort of a little promise. This one has a very little promise. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, that's a little, mm, it's a little toasty. And so we'll, we'll see. We'll see if we get a miracle, if all things good can happen from the power of prayer. Now, I've been praying to St. Therese. I did a nine-day novena, novena, a novena. And uh, after day one, okay, of the novena, my husband walks in the door. Now, uh, I did not tell him this at all. Before he walked in the door from work, I said to my daughter, I prayed to St. Therese and that you're supposed to get a rose if she hears your prayer. And so she started laughing and said, I think you're going crazy, mom. I think you're losing your mind. I think you're absolutely, yeah, out of your element. And with that, my husband walked in the door from work, didn't hear our conversation. And the first thing he told us about was, a random bouquet of yellow roses arrived at his job's front desk where he signed for them from the delivery person and some lady he never saw before or uh, like and he doesn't even work with uh was sent roses anonymously from somebody and she took the bouquet walked off with them he never saw her again a yellow rose fell to the floor he picked it up his first thought was to bring it home to me because he knows I love roses. But no, instead, he decided to throw it into the garbage can. Why? Because he said, I'm basically in like an ingrate. And if he brought me home one rose from the garbage, well, not the garbage at this point, it was on the floor. Uh, if he picked it up and brought it home to me, I would complain. And I scream, no. And my husband's like, what is the problem? And I was like, I prayed to St. Therese. And I asked her to send me a yellow rose if she heard my prayer. And you just threw my miracle in the garbage. And so I proceeded to weep and cry. And my husband said, you've gone crazy. And then the next day he went to work. And I said, can you try to find the rose? And he said, how could I find this rose uh, the garbage is piled all the way up on top of it. It was on the bottom at the time. My co-workers ate SpaghettiO, and it's probably covered in SpaghettiO. And I begged, and I begged, and I begged for him to dump out the garbage and check out the rose. And here it is, perfectly unscathed, with over 20 pounds of garbage on top of it. And yes, my yellow rose was brought home to me. And uh, I was overjoyed because it was my prayer to St. Therese to send me a yellow rose if she heard my prayers because I have very bad health problems. And uh, I will tell you about uh, the miracle about that in a moment. 
in a, in a second, I'm going to show you the most disgusting thing you've probably ever seen. Trigger warning, okay? If you don't like nasty-looking legs, don't look. <laughs> don't look at all. Hit the back button right now. All right, so my legs, uh, feet, ankles, uh, thighs, covered in edema. What is edema? Edema is really bad swelling. If it gets bad enough, it can get to your heart and kill you. Basically, fill you up with water until you basically explode. And so I've had this problem for three years and I'm too chicken to get it taken care of by the doctor because I have huge phobias of doctors and uh, medical procedures. And yes, uh, I was told it could be my heart. I ran out of the cardiologist's office screaming because he pulled out all this equipment and was very concerned about my heart. Well, I decided, let me pray to St. Therese to heal me. And this a, a mag magical thing started happening after about three days and maybe three and a half days of praying. The leg on the left was the leg before I started praying. And mind you, it is a lot worse in person. The leg on the right is after I started praying every single day. And uh, yeah, I gave up Coca-Cola uh, Coca also. Yes, Coca-Cola is like drinking battery acid. And uh, of course, your health is going to be in bad condition. Do you see the huge difference? Well, guess what? It's gotten better since this picture. And after prayer, uh, after prayer, after prayer to St. Therese. So back to the dead roses, okay? You By now, you probably, a lot of you have been gone for a long time and haven't come back to my channel. I apologize. Am I gullible? Am I stupid? Okay, these are the thoughts that go through your head when you try to find some kind of faith, right? Faith in God, faith in something. Okay, is this uh, a miracle or maybe it's Maybelline? Okay, so this is nine days. I did nine days novenas to St. Therese. And I thought the roses were going to bloom. No, they're still as dead as ever. I don't know. If, my camera just does not like the focus. There you go. Dead. Uh, can we can we get a focus on this one? Uh, hello, camera. Camera, I need to show people. Oh, there we go. Dead. Uh, oh, my dogs are going to photobomb me now. Uh, video bomb. Oh, look at this one. Dead. Uh, okay, and well, it looks pretty like bud like but yeah nothing but wait 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 till you see this one leaves leaves grew on it look at this look at this okay leaves these leaves were not here before boys and girls uh buds and roots are starting to form don't know if you can see that but we have buds going up these dead ro yeah my thank you a lot dog thank you really appreciate this okay look at this brand new leaves Okay, after I prayed to St. Therese, look, more buds starting to form. Do you see this? Okay, completely dead roses, grew leaves. After I prayed to St. Therese, placed it in some holy water mixed with regular water. And uh, I'll have to be back because my dogs just ruin everything. That's Satan. <laughs> Satan has been put in, uh, put in time out. Okay, so uh, yeah, all right. So, it, is it a miracle? Is it not a miracle? I don't know. Uh, are roses able to do this? I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe it's all a figment of my imagination. Maybe, I don't know, uh, I'm just making things up. I don't know. But there was no brand new leaves growing out of these when I started this little experiment in faith. And what I learned, the, the, the teaching of the roses or uh, St. Therese is progress does not happen overnight. You have to work at your faith. You may have moments of doubt and darkness and am I crazy? Um, and But like the rose myself, I was completely dead. Dead. My legs were dying. They were actually necrotic tissue, basically about to fall off like a leper. And uh, they did not fall off and they started to heal. But slowly, like the rose, every single day, I started to notice progress. The bud got bigger and bigger. Every day I looked forward to coming to this glass and checking out what's going on. And at the same time, parallel to this glass of dead, yes, dead roses, I noticed uh, there was a little bit of change every single day for the better, for the better. And St. Therese, the saint of little things, has taught me patience. 
that overnight you can't get what you want. Wait, like, is that a song? Wait, oh, you can't always get what you want, but you can find sometimes you get what you need. And so I'm able to walk again. I was uh, barely able to walk. If I even got up out of my chair, or what I call my throne, um, yeah, it was excruciating pain. It felt like electric shocks going through my leg, traveling up to my heart. As a matter of fact, it was so painful to even go to the, the restroom was like I had to drag myself there. And as you can see, my legs made a huge improvement. Like the roses that were once dead, they are breathed new life, right? New life. New life. Is this a miracle? Don't know. Thank you, St. Therese, if you're behind this. And uh, I'm learning a little bit about life through the roses and through St. Therese. Thanks for watching. See you guys all soon. And so long. We'll watch as the progr uh, progression uh, happens here. But we do see that we do have life on dead. Wait, look at this. Come on. Focus, camera. Focus, focus, enhance. Uh, that we do. Yeah, things actually do happen sometimes, right? All right. I'll see you guys all soon. And there goes Satan again. Uh, his timeout is now up. And he's going to be let back in.